so let's start with the first property called linearity property now the statement is going to be same we are going to use two different sequences like if we are considering the first sequence as x1 n whose dft will be x1 of k and second sequence x2 of n whose dft is x2 of k now we have to prove the linearity property so we will write then the statement is going to be simple linear combination of these two sequences that is a x1 n plus b x2 n this is nothing but linear combination of two sequences if you take its discrete Fourier transform it will be a x1 k plus b into x2 of k this is going to be statement of linearity property now in order to prove this we will start with proof now here we have to find the Fourier transform of this particular combination so I am writing it here dft of this particular sequence ax1 plus px2n is now we have the standard set of formula that I am writing which is equal to summation now the limit you can take it from 0 to n minus 1 let's suppose we are taking 0 to n minus 1 we will treat this entire function here a x1 plus b x2 now this should be multiplied with exponential term so that exponential term we have exponential minus j 2 pi k n by n this is the standard set of formula that we are using now here just multiply the exponential term with these two terms so we will get this simplification this summation as it is a x1 into exponential plus summation which is our next term b x2 into exponential now the last adjustment we can take this constant outside so we'll get the step as a into summation x1 into exponential similarly b summation x2 into exponential that we will keep as it is now if you observe it carefully this is going to be our Fourier transform this is Fourier transform of first sequence and this is for second sequence so finally we can get the term as a x1 of k plus b into x2 of k so this is going to be proof of other first property called as linearity property now whenever you deal with any of the uh, transforms and if the properties are asked to be of linear property we have to follow the same process only the concept or the formulas are going to be changed now let us take the second property as time reversal now the name itself indicates here the sequence which you are using in the time domain is going to be time reversed so if it is time reversed we will see how we can prove this property so for that case so the statement is if we have a sequence x of n whose dft is x of k now the sequence in time domain should be reversed so it is reversed as minus n but here an important term arises to the base n this is called as base n now why base n because discrete Fourier transform shows the periodicity now this periodicity is with respect to n which we call it as number of samples we will make a video on circular shift of a sequence in couple of segments where we will completely discuss about what mean by base n so in short this simply indicates as x of n module or mod n so we will see it in later on portion let us come and prove this property so for that case we will write again proof as where to find Fourier transform of this function so I am simply writing discrete Fourier transform of 
x of minus n base n is which is equal to we have the formula same summation maybe from 0 to n minus 1 same sequence x of n to the base n into exponential which will keep as it is now this term to the base n can be written as summation 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus n now why am writing it here as n minus n because when we deal with periodicity of any signal the signal will be rotated to the left or to the right side that means we will add n number of samples to the given function we can add or subtract so here already we have the function as minus n so simply we are adding with number of sample therefore it is written as x of n minus n remaining term that is exponential which we will keep in the same manner now in order to simplify this further what we have to do is here we have to substitute a term now what we can substitute so for that case let us assume I am writing n minus small m is equals to m therefore this becomes equals to m and when you put the limits as n as 0 so for n is equals to 0 we will get m is equals to capital N and when we put the upper limit as n is equal to n minus 1 in this case so m becomes equal to your n as it is minus n plus 1 so this will get cancelled and we are left with upper limit as 1 so when we put these terms over here I am writing it now in terms of m the lower limit we are getting n and upper limit we are getting as 1 into this term x of m into e raised to minus j to pi k now the entire term is with respect to m so we have to replace this n in terms of m so when I shift n to this side we will get this term as n minus m divided by m now let us further simplify this instead of writing m n to 1 we can simply write this as m is equals to 1 to n also why it is so because when we are counting from 0 to 100 we will get the same result and similarly when we count from 100 to 0 the result is going to be same so summation terms we can adjust in a proper way our remaining term I am writing x of m as it is now I am simplifying this term we will get j to pi k n divided by n into e raised to minus j to pi k minus m divided by m now actually here this minus minus becomes plus so we can make that adjustment now this n and this n will get cancelled so we are left with this important term exponential minus j to pi k now why this is quite important because in next all property segments we will get this term e raised to minus j to pi k now if it is e raised to minus j to pi k I am simply writing the value of e raised to minus j to pi which can be written as cos 2 pi minus j sin 2 pi now we know very well sin 2 pi is going to be 0 and cos 2 pi that is cos 180 will be equal to 1 now if it is equals to 1 so this term becomes 1 raised to k Ab 1 raised to k means what k ka value kuch bhi rahega. maybe 0 1 2 3 4 5 like this one this value is going to be 1 and therefore remember this important term e raised to minus j 2 pi k will be equal to 1 I hope you have got this concept whenever you will get e raised to minus j 2 pi k so it will be 1 provided that the term is going to be even therefore we are left with the term as here this is m 1 to n x m into e raised to this will be j 2 pi k m divided by n so once you got this term now just observe what we did we did x of n minus k that means Fourier transform should be equal to x of n minus k but here we don't have a term as n minus k therefore 
we have to adjust a term as n minus k how we can adjust let us see so here i am writing this term again as summation now instead of 1 to n shall i write 0 to n minus 1 both are going to be same because we are starting with 0 so upper limit will be n minus 1 if i start from 1 upper limit will be n only or remaining term x of m as it is so we'll keep x of m as it is now we have exponential positive term in the previous segment sure as per the formula i'm writing e raised to minus j to pi and we need k minus n so simply you can see it here sorry this is n minus k so we have to adjust it so let us adjust this in a proper way n minus k into m now the question arises sir, when it is with n introduction where it will be eliminated so i can eliminate by dividing by n you can see it clearly this minus minus will be plus k m by n as it is simply we are adjusting the term as n now this n will not cause anything to us because a simple state for us so when i divide this by n again i will get e raised to minus j to pi m n divided by n now this will get cancelled we have seen this one e raised to minus j to pi 1 raised to m and this value m k these are all variables the value is going to be 1 so this is going to be the adjustment now if you observe it properly this is the term 0 to n minus 1 summation as it is variable is x op m here the variable is x op m and here the term is what n minus k so definitely this will be the Fourier transform of x op n minus k i hope you get this one if only k term arises it will be x op k here it is replaced by what n minus k therefore the Fourier transform is going to be x of n minus k i hope you understood this concept thank you in next video we'll see another properties